and Michael met with Justice TV's Jan Eagleman, Thank who was you. currently doing a doing tech, tech rehearsal. rehearsal for my new show, Judge Reinhold. It's a reality courtroom show. You, you know that there's an actor by that name, right? This is what they put me in. Why did I lose all the weight if they're going to put me in a pool cover? I'm sorry, are, are you an actual judge? Uh, no, that's just a coincidence. I read somewhere Judge Judy made $25 million last year, and I'm like, hey, I never even heard of the guy. So you just, you're doing this because your name is Judge? Honestly, this is the first time I've put those two things together. Maybe we should take Judge out of the title and go with my original title, Mr. Reinhold's Courtroom. No, 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 we're changing the name. Thanks, Michael. Got 250,000 talking magazine ads, and he wants to change the name. My name is Judge. Here you want to do a mock trial. Mm. Yeah? We can do it here on the set, because I'm looking for Judge Reinhold to have a little practice, too. Uh-huh. I'll be acting as the prosecutor. That way I can see how your family holds up. The families that do well are the ones that stick together. Well, that's, that, that's us. Um, we are going to need a defense attorney, right, for the mock trial, and that's not going to be cheap. You know the case. Why not you? You're a crook, Captain yes. Hook. Yeah, give me a chance to show my dad what I can do. I'll, I'll, I'll show him. I'll make a fool out of him. While sticking together. Just give me one minute. And that's when Hello. Michael found out his brother Buster was in a coma. What happened? How is he? We're waiting for the doctor. I just pray it's one of those things where he's unconscious throughout the entire trial, and when it's over, he wakes up and gets a big toy. Wait a minute. Are you responsible for this, Mom? Did you put one of your sons into a coma so that he can't testify? Michael, how dare you? Of course it crossed my mind, but this was all Buster. He got into your brother's pills. Not the forget-me-nows. He asked me for them. I didn't know. I thought he was dating again. I hope you don't mind me saying, but these things can go on indefinitely. My mother's been in that bed for two years. <gasps> oh, how awful. We don't have a private room. They won't let me take out her feeding tube. And I'm lucky. I have the resources to pay for these medical bills. You have resources? What good is my money if I can't bring her back? But you can't. And money <laughs> should be spent on dating. Is that what you're going to say? Let's go ahead and wait outside. So, you come here often? Cute uh, button. How is he? We're still waiting to find out. I got here as soon as I could. Oh, the red tape. Looks a little bit more like red prawn, Dad. It's the shrimp fest. Oh, the shrimp. You realize that Buster's probably in this state because of you and Mom? He's obviously afraid of what he knows, and he's just trying to forget. Does he know who N. Bluth is? Right now, he doesn't know who B. Bluth is. Uh, I'm going to need some real answers out of you pretty soon, because I've just discussed it with Jan. I am going to be pretending to be your attorney at the mock trial before Judge Reinhold. You're the lawyer. Oh, that's the same representation Captain Hook had. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to laugh again. Oh, it feels good. It does. They say seven minutes heals all wounds. Wait, not the Judge Reinhold show from all those magazine ads. They're all over the place. Look at this. My name is Judge. I didn't even know that this kind of technology existed. I could use this in my ventriloquism act. They have a bar here? Well, Buster's in what we call a light to no coma. In layman's terms, it might be considered a very heavy nap. Could that mean that he's faking it? Oh, highly likely this is fake. Although there doesn't seem to be very much brain activity. No, that's him. I think it's very important that we remember he's fully insured. I say we see how this plays out. Absolutely. And we're going to be here every day. I, I don't care if it takes from now to the end of Shrimp Fest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, if this young man gets bored, we need a lot of volunteers here at the hospital. Turning over the bedridden, changing bedpans. Or is there a mall across the street? Oh, oh, you want excitement? Well, we have a group of young people who put on fake weddings for our Alzheimer's patients. It actually would probably look pretty good on some college applications. Would I have to touch the old people? Only their hearts. You could be a groom. Bring a little girlfriend up there with you. Oh, I don't have a girlfriend. A sister, then, or a cousin. Of course, you're going to have to kiss. Guess who liked that idea? He says he doesn't want to do it. I'm actually trying to respect his choices lately. Good. I just, great. I was just, well, don't, don't answer. I, um, yeah. Because I know exactly the cousin. It, I mean, it is the girl I would want to give, and she'll want to give too. We'll, and we'll do that together. It's for them, for the sake of. I just, it's a great day. Uh, for being sad. <laughs>